everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas where things are finally happening. After taking care of Mr. House, uh, we not only got a new task from the NCR, but more importantly, Arcade finally deigned to give us his personal mission. So um, I think that's what we're going to do today. But uh, before I start with that, when I edited the previous episode, I noticed that apparently I got a note when I disconnected uh, Mr. House from his survival chamber or whatever that was. So let's have a look at that note. Yeah, this one. A tragedy has befallen all mankind. Robert Edwin House, 261, president, CEO and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip, industrialist and technologist, founder, president and CEO of the multi-billion dollar pre-war robotics and software corporation Robco Industries has died. Okay, so apparently even if you pick the option to not kill him, he's eventually going to die because you can't put him back into his stasis chamber. Generally recognized by Mr. House, <laughs> To be mankind's only hope of long-term survival. <laughs> Recognized by himself. All right. Mr. House's passing may well sound a death knell for the entire human race. Lost forever in his bounty of knowledge concerning human longevity, the depth and breadth of which could, as he was apt to say, fill several textbooks. Well, why didn't you write any of these books while you were alive? <laughs> he was not exaggerating. Though he did not achieve his goal of functional immortality, he uh, let us not forget that he died at the age of 261. How many people do that? I mean, come on. I don't know. Is is uh, Raoul not basically the same age, approximately? <laughs> I mean, he's a ghoul, but that means that he can still walk and run around and actually do stuff and is not like contained in, in a chamber and unable to leave. Also lost forever are House's singular personality, force of will, vision and leadership ability. The probability of an equally capable figure emerging from the current human population to lead mankind to a future of equivalent quality is less than 0.00112% by objective measures too complex to, to detail in this obituary. <laughs> Oh dear. Personality and force of will. Born June 25th, 2020, House was orphaned at an early age when his parents died in a freak accident. <laughs> Autogyro lightning. What? <laughs> Though cheated of his inheritance, House attended the prestigious institute in Massachusetts and founded Robco Industries on his 22nd birthday. Within five years, it was one of the most profitable corporations on earth. Vision. By 2065, House was certain that an atomic war would soon devastate the planet. At great personal expense, he developed technologies to ensure the structural integrity of the city of Las Vegas, as it was known at the time. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted the city. Mr. House defeated them all. Talk about vision. Leadership. Mr. House survived the war, of course, and would later recruit the three families, negotiate the Treaty of New Vegas and rebuild the Vegas Strip. While these achievements yielded many immediate benefits, they were all part of House's master plan to reignite mankind's quest for technological advancement. A plan without which the human race has nowhere to go and nowhere to turn. <laughs> we'll revise and finish this up later, have set the age at death to update automatically. Obed makes salient points, but pearls before swine, of course. Let's hope the ingrates never have cause to read it. Who knows how many of them are even literate. Oh boy. This guy is just incredible. What an ego. What an ego. And I mean, this obituary certainly um, makes his genius master plan seem even more like an ego project and not an honest attempt to improve the conditions of the human race. I mean, it's it's probably less about the survival of mankind and more about the survival of one man, him. I mean, you can see what he thinks of other people. It, it doesn't specifically tell us who the ingrates are he's talking about, 
but it seems that he's basically talking about everyone except except him. So I don't feel that he has uh, really any deeper interest in helping all these ingrates, if, if that's what he uh, thinks of other human beings. Um, ironically, though, I think that his hubris is, in the end, uh, his uh, biggest character flaw and what uh, led to his failure because apparently he didn't realize that his brilliant master plan basically hinged on the loyalty of one person and I mean looking back at it uh, disconnecting Mr. House from his computers was shockingly easy all it took was one woman with a gun and a few tech skills so yeah maybe maybe your plan was not as as uh, great as you thought it was <laughs> but i feel it's uh, rather telling that it probably just didn't occur to him that someone might like not be totally um, taken in by his personality and so on and that everyone would be uh, instantly willing to follow him and so on especially if you consider that uh, the person that his plan relied on the courier is basically chosen at random. I mean, Hera ended up with a platinum chip, but it could have been Ulysses. It could have been someone else if uh, someone else had taken the offer first. So uh, it was just, you know, by chance that Hera was the one who, who got the chip and um, she wasn't willing to follow Mr. House. So yeah, I think your plan is not nearly as brilliant as you thought it was. In, in that regard, he's actually kind of like Caesar because Caesar also apparently couldn't conceive of the possibility that, that someone would defy him and so he gave Hera tasks like you know uh, going into that bunker and destroying you know whatever was inside because he felt well of course she's going to do it because I am the great Caesar and apparently um, Mr. Howe's uh, way of thinking is similar in his case of course she's going to work with me and help me because I'm the brilliant Mr. House, like the best human being who ever lived, or something like that. But yeah, um, that that is still uh, pretty pretty interesting. And I mean, to be fair, the fact that the the courier is basically chosen at random is kind of the premise for the game, since it's the player character in an RPG, so it literally can be any kind of personality or character, because you know you decide if you want to back Mr. House or not. But, you know, it just shows the the problems with his plan. Of course, you could say the same about uh, the Legion and the NCR as well, because if you don't back them, um, they're going to lose as well. But at least for both of them, I didn't get the same kind of impression that the entire plan is, you know, based around uh, one person and they have like backup plans. I mean, the backup plans will fail, but uh, at least um, they're not, they're not uh, counting on just one person to do everything for them. Anyway, um, that was still interesting. Now, let's uh, check out uh, Arcade's quest. So I'm supposed to uh, find certain people, the, uh, the remnants, and uh, convince them to join the reunion. Uh, let's see. Like I said, I do remember speaking to some of them. And it looks like they're all near a fast travel spot. So let's start over here, I would say, in Novak. Haven't been at this place in, in quite some time. Alright, now let's see. I I need to put a marker on my quest because there has so many that it confuses the radar um okay who is the person i'm looking for and where do i find it it's somewhere in one of the rooms Okay, it's her. Yes, right. I vaguely remember her. Mark it's my been words. a long Won't time be ago. Long before the Legion and NCR butt heads over Hoover Dam. You're right about that. Your travel's been going all right. Yeah, I I kind of remember her. Yes, she's a pilot. 
Did you fly for the NCR? Well, probably not, huh? Arcade asked me to find you. I'm reuniting the remnants and they'll need your piloting skills. So, interested? Told you everything about us, did he? <laughs> well, it's not been really. a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake <laughs> Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. True. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is dear. Passphrase? How did you like flying vertebrates for the Enclave? So I guess that would explain why Arcade uh, knew so much about the vertebrate that we found crashed in like a southern part of the map. He was kind of evasive when uh, we asked him about it and he was like, oh, I, I read it in a book <laughs> or something like that. But I guess he knows about the vertebrate because she's been flying one, right? I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but <laughs> worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Okay. So, what exactly have you been doing that was questionable? Um, but okay, apparently that's all I had to do. Just uh, ask her to join the reunion and apparently she's quite willing to do so. Watch your six out there. Right. So, um, I guess that's all I have to do Since my her. mother died, oh, Daisy's been the, the only hell? woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. <laughs> Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. I see. Okay, um, I can understand that. It was an important part of her life. Why shouldn't she enjoy it? Except... Exactly. As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something... <laughs> admittedly pretty bad, but it was uh, something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. I understand. I understand. And you're kind of glitchy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure why you emerged with a ra railing here. I hope you can break yourself free of that. But okay, um, it seems that we have taken care of um, the first part of this quest. Yes, Daisy Whitman is done. So let's travel to... Uh, I don't know, what would be the next person? Right, Cannibal Johnson's Cave. I remember this guy. Oh. And I was slightly disappointed that there wasn't any quest that was, you know, associated with this person. Since he seemed uh, significant. Let's go and talk to him. Alright, uh, do you remember me? Let's talk again. What brings you around this time? Um, your old friend Arcade. He asked me to gather all the remaining members of the Enclave in the Mojave. I thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? I think he thinks your experience and technology will help resolve the conflict in this region. I'm gathering allies just in case. Why do you have something better to do? Nah, let's, let's be concrete and just tell him exactly what we want of him. Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. All right. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. <laughs> Appropriate, huh? Okay. And if I, I had to pick anyone who didn't oh. belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, hmm. subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. Interesting. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. 
you know he's standing right next to you. You don't have to talk about him in the third person. Why worry about it? You don't have to be your father. I'm sure your father would be proud of you. Huh. I have no idea because I've never met your father and what kind of person he was. Um, but it just feels like the right thing to say. I wonder if he would. It's pointless, I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. I don't know. I, I, I think you you made a good choice here. Um, but yeah, apparently I need to uh, collect words for a past phrase. So Daisy's word was deer. So now we have deer old. Okay. Well, it could be old deer, I suppose. I'm not sure if I'm getting them in the correct order. Um, okay. I guess uh, we will move on. This doesn't seem to be all that difficult. Let's remove uh, this one over here. Um, Miguel's pawn shop. I mean, this is the closest. No, there's another one. West side, west. But it seems to be directly at the pawn shop. So I guess that's where we're going to head for next. Hey. Hey, indeed. So do I have to go inside here? Uh, what person am I looking for exactly at the moment? Um, and it doesn't really tell me. Judah, Krieger, Orion, Moreno, or Dr. Henry. Well, I know where to find Dr. Henry, so it's got to be one or the other two. And it's not Miguel. Okay. Um, in that case, let's check the outside again. If oh, the here NCR we go. ain't got to worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving the lives of regular folks around here. I agree. Oh, mean son of a bitch is still around too. Sticking around for the attractions? Not really. I came back because I'm looking for you specifically. Hello, Arcade. Making <laughs> some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like <laughs> us? Well, apparently... He thinks that you still have some use. You'll be the element of surprise. It was a Kate's suggestion, not mine. It was. It really must be bad out there <laughs> if he's sending you to us. Is the idea that we swoop in by vertebird guns blazing? Yeah, we already have the vertebird pilot. Of course, I'm not sure if we have an actual vertebird that is still working. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Does that mean you're in? That's, ba that's way better than what I had in mind. <laughs> I have no idea what, what she had in mind. Um, but it's probably better than what she had in mind, indeed. I hope you weren't thinking we were going to take the lead. <laughs> That's no job for a bunch of greybeards. Or grey heads, in Whitman's case. I'll be there at the reunion. Let's hope the others show up, too. Or this plan isn't going to work. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Navarro? Dear old Navarro. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, uh, apparently I can ask him a few more questions. Tell me about the old days with the Enclave. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. Mm, so I heard. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and... Shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. Okay, but now you would be willing to help um, the NCR in this battle? Let's let's find out. Um, yeah, I have more questions. What happened to the Enclave, Ulrich and Navarro? Tell me more about that. I'm, I'm missing a lot of information about the Enclave here. Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the hmm. region. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, tell me more about uh, your former squad. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Okay. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. 
Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Okay. Um, yeah, I still have to find him. So I hope um, you will be able to keep them in line again once I uh, recruited all of them. But okay, uh, thank you for your time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, indeed. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one <laughs> hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Okay, um, well, yeah, it looks like they're loyal to you too. So far, they all agreed to join uh, pretty easily. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. <laughs> they went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Maybe you can, maybe you can, but uh, we still need to find two more people. Um, I know that Dr. Henry is at Jacobstown, but... Oh, I, I guess um, this is the Moreno guy. Somewhere near the sharecropper's farm. Uh, yeah, I guess that would be the closest fast travel location. I mean, this is actually a person that I don't specifically remember talking to, but I, I probably did talk to him and I, I just don't remember his name. I've been playing this game for so long already and <laughs> it's it's been a lot of people I talk to. Uh, I, I may have to leave uh, the compound here and there's not a way to actually get out. Okay. Um, Let's try to find an exit. There might be one over here. Okay. Orion. Where are you? Uh, it looks like he might be in one of the buildings. For example, this one. Huh? Um, okay. Let's, let's find... An entry point. And look at that. Oh, New Vegas still going strong. Door to Ryan Moreno's house. Well, I may not have been talking to him after all because... I feel I would remember his name. He has a pretty unique name. Orion. Okay, well... um. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem familiar at all. Ugh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. <laughs> if you're with the NCR, get out. Okay. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Well, this might be awkward, because I suppose now I am officially with the NCR. I mean, in previous uh, quests I usually said, well, I'm kind of working for them, but I'm only, like, loosely affiliated with the NCR. But, you know, I feel at this point I should commit to this, so... I am with the NCR, so I hope um, this is not going to be a problem. Do we have something against the NCR? Well, apparently so. But yeah, maybe um, we're just going to glance over that at the moment. Um, I was looking for you, but because Arcade asked me to. In a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? <laughs> Your advanced level of tech would be useful in settling things between the NCR and the Legion. There isn't anyone else around with your equipment and expertise. I never said anything about paying you. <laughs> I would be willing to pay you. I think good work uh, requires or deserves good payment. Now, should I tell him about uh, the fact that we kind of want him to fight for the NCR? I feel I have to. I have to be uh, honest with what I, I'm planning here. So let's just... Uh, uh, let this uh, cat out of the bag. Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? I haven't decided. Do you have a preference? Does it matter who we help? Yes, it does. <laughs> and I feel his preference... Well, he doesn't like the NCR. That doesn't mean that he is going to be, like, 
friends with a legion. And I haven't decided isn't really correct because um, I kind of have. So what would your preference be? Uh, tell me about it. I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers okay. with my old Gatling laser. Well, this would be a problem. I want to help the Legion defeat the NCR. That's what I was thinking too. Are you coming to this thing or what? Uh, again, I would prefer to be honest with him, but I'm not really getting that option. So maybe I can just convince him to join and they can talk about it then, maybe? All right then, I'll show up at this gathering of yours. <laughs> it might be good to see the others. Johnson excluded. Okay. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is remember. Okay. Dear old Navarro, remember. Hmm, okay. What did you do when you were with the Enclave? Yeah, tell me more about that. Heavy weapons trooper. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. Hmm. If we'd been on the winning side, I'd be called a hero. Probably. So what exactly is your problem with the NCR? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. I see. Well, I guess I can kind of understand that. And what exactly do you do around here? Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. Okay. How do you live in this world when you're retired? I'm pretty sure no one has, like, uh, a retirement fund that they can live off for the rest of their days. So you still have to make a living somehow, right? Um, yeah, tell me more about what you did before you were retired. I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, <laughs> so quit bringing it up. I'm sorry, I'm just curious, and I want to know who I'm hiring for this job. But yeah, um, he might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Arcade wants me to Moreno him, took the fall so of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. I see. To him... It was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, Kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Hmm. Now there's just a bitter old man left. Maybe that's also a reason why he doesn't like the NCR. There's like an old grudge because apparently there were hostilities between the Enclave and the NCR, and if he, he was such a firm believer in the Enclave, then I guess he still has some of these old resentments. Don't be too hard on him. It's part of who he is. A man should know when to let go. Yeah, I actually kind of agree with that. It's been decades, you know. By now, he's been out of the Enclave longer than he was in. Most people know when to hang it up and start over. But not Moreno. Well, I, I see that. Although he probably would be happier if he did. I don't know. Let's move on. We still have to talk to uh, Dr. Henry. And I mean, at least that's someone we already know and worked for. So I hope that he's going to be easy to recruit. Okay, uh, I gotta go inside the building and uh, find him, I suppose. Dr. Henry, um, I gotta talk to you, but this time it's not I hear about reports of Legion your studies. Raiding parties all over the place. They can't all be rumors. Well, I'm trying to take care of most of them, at least the ones that I see. Is there something else I can do for you? Indeed, there is. Arcade Gannon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave in the Mojave. Right. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. 
Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Okay. Dear old Navarro, remember friends. <laughs> I guess it would make more sense if it's dear old friends, remember Navarro. Right? Probably. So they didn't give it uh, to me in the proper order. <laughs> yes, yes. But maybe it is dear old Navarro, Doc remember Henry friends. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. <laughs> he had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. <laughs> he simply solved riddles because they existed. I don't know. Seems like a good reason to me. His work is what mattered to him. It seems pointless to do all of that without a goal. I don't know. From what I can tell, still, you know, good stuff came out of it. He's, like, trying to help the mutants here. So it seems to me that he has a goal. Or even if he doesn't, he still gets results. So um, that's, that's fine with me. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the <laughs> short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. Yeah, and I think Hera appreciates that. Like I said earlier, I think she likes this unpretentious approach to, to science and just trying to do small things that help people instead of going for, like, the big targets that may or not be feasible. But okay, um, it looks like we have all uh, the people that we need. Oh, I remember this place. Yes, I couldn't get inside when I found it. So I guess now we can uh, change that. All right, let's travel to the bunker. And let's see if we can actually get inside now. Open hatch to remnants bunker. Um, let's see, door control panel. It appears that some sort of passphrase needs to be entered in order to open the nearby door. Dear old friends, remember never... <laughs> okay, so it's this way around. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Looks basically identical to the Brotherhood bunker. But I guess they all used to be like pre-war bunkers and... These people just moved inside. They didn't actually build these places. Oh, there's a Verdi bird. Look at it. It actually... Well, it doesn't look like a bird, to be honest. It looks more like a giant insect, but... Um, fair enough. Still, that's that's pretty amazing. I think we found... We found a bird for you to fly, Daisy. <laughs> um... Oh, look at these guys. I mean, I guess they're maybe not guys, just armors, or are there actually people inside here? Or are they like robots? It's kind of hard to tell what exactly all of this is. Hmm. Anyway, um, where are all the people that we gathered? Enclave crate. Well, the Enclave crate really only contains stuff that you would find in other places as well. Ah, here we go. Yep, all of them are united. Now, how do we hey. how do we start this reunion? Am I just supposed to talk to someone? Got another map over here. All right, uh, let's talk. Krieger's the officer here, not me. The final say on the plan is up to him. Oh, so I guess I should have uh, talked to Krieger. I'm ready to fly once we've got a plan. Talk to Judah. Right. Let's go. Glad to see you made it here, all right. So, who are we going up against? Well, um, I want you to help the NCR hold onto the dam. Help the Legion take over the dam. It's interesting that even at this point I can still tell them 
to back the Legion, even though my quest to actually work for the Legion has been, you know, failed a long time ago. So what would happen if at this point I tell them to help the Legion? I would basically be sabotaging myself, you know, no matter what option I pick in the end. It's it's just going to uh, counteract my, my uh, endeavor. How are you going to deploy your squad? What is this place? Um, I would like to ask the questions first. Maybe, maybe I can do that before I tell them what my plan is. So let's uh, try to take these options first. Marino, Johnson, Henry and I will be the boots on the ground. Whitman will stay with the vertebird. Okay, um, fair enough. Um, yeah, tell me more about this place. This was a minor refueling station for vertebirds. It seemed an appropriate place to stash our equipment if we ever needed it. I'm surprised this place hasn't fallen apart. When I put it into standby mode, I expected to return to it huh. within a few years, not decades. Well, apparently it was definitely built to last. But okay, uh, let's get to the point. I want you to help the NCR hold onto the dam. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno. Yeah. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. I will. I'll talk to Moreno. You're the officer here. Can't you just order him to go along with the plan? He might, but honestly, I would prefer if he does it, you know, because he wants to, or at least um, is willing to. <laughs> and I mean, technically, they're not in, like, the enclave or the army anymore, so I guess Moreno could just say, you know, I'm, I'm calling it quits, I'm leaving again, if I don't want to be part of it. So I feel I actually have to convince him if I want him to be along. Um, will Moreno be a liability? What's Moreno's problem with the NCR? We don't need him. If he wants to go, let him go. Um, yeah, let's ask him as well about his exact problem. Maybe that will help us to convince him. Day one, we didn't. Yeah. It's as simple as that. The rest of us moved on while Moreno didn't. Still, I'm not convinced Moreno hates the NCR as much as he thinks he does. You still might be able to talk him out of leaving. So I was right in my assumption that his uh, disdain for the NCR is mostly an old grudge and not so much what they're doing now. So do you think he will be a liability? He won't turn on us. But he's a good shot, and I'd hate to do okay. this without him. So basically, either I convince him or he's not going to join. Um, sure, I will talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his <laughs> mind about something, there's no changing it. Okay, um, I'll give my best. Oh, what the hell? You ever he seen just one left. of those rangers in black armor? I wouldn't want to make one of those mad. Rangers in black armor, yes, I, I think I, I've seen them. By the way, can I talk to the other people in here as well? The NCR's got its share of wards, but I'd rather have them around than the Legion. That seems like a good, pragmatic approach to me. I'd love to see the look on the NCR's face <laughs> when I swoop down in my chopper. I'm sure they will be uh, amazed. The NCR is the best bet for the wasteland. I'm glad we'll be helping them out. Okay, well, he actually seems to be the pretty happy with my plan. I seen one or two of them. But yeah, okay, I gotta I gotta time. go and find Moreno again. He just I didn't come stomped all the way off. out here just so we could save the <laughs> fucking NCR. I'm out. Well, this is an awkward camera angle. Um <laughs> I would I would actually like to see your face while I'm trying to convince you, but apparently uh, the game game has other plans. Um Okay, I have a speech option here. Speech 80. The remnants come in, guns blazing, showing the NCR how it's done. You actually don't want that? Huh, that, that is actually a pretty, a pretty uh, neat idea to convince them. Maybe we can't convince him to like the NCR, but maybe to show off a little bit. That's kind of clever. And probably a better idea than trying to give him caps. Sure, let's do it. I mean... I would be using this option first, but um, I want to make sure that I don't lose my speech option. You never really know when a dialogue option is going to progress a dialogue, or if you can pick more than one, that's a bit of a problem. So let's go for the speech uh, check right away. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <laughs> oh, fine, I'm in. 
But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Well, I, I can not expect this. that. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. Well, um, I guess you've certainly done your part. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out at the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. Hmm. They're going to need every doctor they can get. I don't know. It, it seems like both of them are worthy causes. If you're so sure it's going to be a bloodbath, maybe you should stay in Freeside. What happens in Freeside won't make any difference if the Legion takes a damn fight with them. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I think both of them actually have their merit. I feel that a doctor would also be useful at the dam. So, yes, you can help out in Freeside, but you could also use your skills at the dam, right? So, hmm, hmm. I wish I, I wish I had any indication what he would prefer. Would he prefer to stay in Freeside or would he prefer to fight with them? No, I got the impression that the only reason why he isn't uh, joining the battle or not sure if he should join the battle is because he thinks that uh, they don't want him uh, fighting with them because like he's not or he wasn't really a member of the Enclave or whatever. Um, but I, I get the feeling that they uh, respect uh, him, so they probably would be happy to uh, have him uh, at their side. So, I don't know. I feel both of them are good choices. Um, but there are other doctors in, in Freeside at the followers camp, so they can take care of any wounded there. And having like someone who can fight and uh, help wounded people at the dam might not be a bad idea. And I feel that maybe he actually wants to do this and fight with his old comrades, right? So, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll tell him to fight with his uh, friends here. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. Oh, he just gave me his stuff. You have lost Arcade's better healing perk. Arcade has returned to Freeside. Oh, okay. You didn't need to give me your stuff, though. What? What's going on? Oh. Oh, I see. Um, did, like, the people pick, pick their armors and, and left? Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. Ooh. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. I'll talk to her, definitely. I mean, I don't intend to wear power armor, but I would be interested in the training anyway. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. Uh, I have some time. Honcho yeah. Strip family got killed right in his own casino. He put you on he, he put on the armor. I actually did collect one of these helmets before, and I wasn't really sure what kind of helmet it was. Now I see it in like, uh, it's it's full glory. I understand. Anyway, you wanted to give me some training. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit <laughs> a bit cramped. You should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. Let's. Perk edit. You have received the specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. Okay, well, that's neat. Again, I probably won't be using it, but still. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Well, I am trying my best to ensure that. The NCR's got its share of wards. But I'd rather have them around than we'll the We'll be lead. ready. Don't worry. 
Okay, it looks like they don't have any new dialogue. I can't believe I'm going to help the NCR. <laughs> uh, you better believe it. The NCR is the best bet for the wasteland. I'm glad we'll be helping them out. I'd love to see the look on the NCR's okay, face. Okay, so they're basically just repeating uh, the same dialogue again. Okay, well, um, it looks like we have completed uh, the quest and Arcade just ran off somewhere. I mean, apparently he went to Freeside. So I suppose he went back to um, the follower camp. I kind of want to go back there anyway. Because, as you know, my reputation with the followers of the apocalypse is not as good as it could be. Oh, like I what said, the? I needed to go do something. Oh, this is it. It belonged to my father. Looks Since snazzy. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hoover Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. <laughs> good thinking. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. Of course. Of course. What's up? Let's talk. What do you think the others will do at Hoover Dam? Well, I hope they're going to fight, as we as we discussed. I don't think you need to worry about the specifics. Basically, expect a lot of firepower and dead bodies. Enclave okay. technology is even more advanced than Brotherhood equipment. And in the hands of soldiers as experienced as Moreno and the others, let's just say it's truly a sight to behold. I can't wait. So, what is your opinion on the current situation? Helping the NCR is better than helping Mr. House, but I don't think it's the best solution for the people in New Vegas. If the NCR can take full control of Freeside and the Strip, it's going to get worse before it gets mm. better. Besides, even if New Vegas eventually gets representation in the NCR's Senate, it's not like the NCR runs efficiently. All right, I, I respect your opinion. I, I do get the feeling that he would have preferred the Yes Man path, but again, I don't really know what the Yes Men will entail in the long run. I feel things might get pretty bad with the Yes Men as well, uh, if, if we're unlucky. So uh, the NCR might not be the best choice, but I feel it's the safest uh, in the long run. So uh, I'm glad that you uh, are with me on this. See you around. And that you're willing to support me on this, even if, it, if it's not your preferred option. Okay, so apparently he is just going to uh, stay here at the bunker now. All right, well, uh, that means I, I need a new companion, I suppose. <laughs> but, I mean, I told him to uh, stay with his friends and fight at the dam, so um, that's, that's fine with me. As a matter of fact, I think I will actually pick up Veronica, because I have to go to the Brotherhood again. And I want to go back to the Followers Fort um, in Freeside, because, like I said, I want to do something for my reputation with the followers. And I remember that Julie Farkas was always looking for, like, medicine and stuff. And in the past, I never had enough to actually give her all that she needed. So maybe I can uh, give her some additional stuff now and gain a few points of reputation. But for now, uh, let's end the episode here. As usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.